So one day, I was looking at the beacon in Salzburg after watching Luke the Notable's 3000 Days video, and I thought to myself, hmm, I could make a 6 effect beacon, how hard could it be? And immediately my impulsive ADHD brain went, yes, yes, let's do that. It'll make for some great content as well. Little did I know how difficult this achievement would be to obtain. You won't want to miss any of this, so please subscribe. The current beacon in Salzburg is a single level 4 beacon at Bedrock with the speed 2 effect. It allows the equal people of Salzburg to traverse the central parts of the town quicker than normal. Beacons of this size cost a total of 164 mineral blocks, each of which are composed of 9 ores, which means the total amount of ores needed in a single level 4 beacon is 1,476 ores. A level 4 6 effect beacon allows all 6 effects to be active at the same time allowing a player to not only run 40% faster, but to jump twice as high, mine 40% faster, regenerate health faster, become more resistant to damage, and deal two and a half more hearts of damage. While single level 4 beacon pyramids cost 164 mineral blocks, level 4 6 effect beacon pyramids cost 244 blocks. Do you want to know the total amount of ores that you need to make this beacon pyramid? This many. Have I made a mistake? Is it worth spending so much time getting all the resources for a town that isn't even real? Yes. So I started off by grabbing a spare wither skeleton skull I had and put that in my shulker box, which would help later, as they are used to spawn the wither, which drops a nether star, which is part of the crafting recipe for the beacon. I'll need a total of 15 wither skeleton skulls. Along with this, I decided to make this beacon pyramid out of iron, as gold seemed too difficult to get, and iron was what I was the most rich in. I then proceeded to make myself completely broke in iron, as that would give me a head start, reducing the amount of iron blocks I needed from 244 to 203. I grab my beacon, which is specifically for Haste 2 for projects like this, and I put my InfDev Mine data module into the waypoint panel of my TARDIS. It will make my TARDIS travel to the mine I go to in the InfDev dimension. The reason I did this was that I knew that InfDev had higher rates of diamonds than the overworld does, so I assumed maybe I would get higher rates of iron. Eventually, my TARDIS materialized in the InfDev dimension. I mined to the Y level I thought would be the best, and then I made some room so I could start constructing my beacon. After that, I dug the block directly above the beacon up to the surface, as beacons need to be able to see the sky in order to work. Then I started randomly mining in all directions, finding bits of iron, coal, and gold. Eventually, my inventory got full, so I threw all the excess stone and decided to put my first lot of resources into one of my chests. After two separate mining sessions in the InfDev dimension, I managed to get 38 iron ore. At that point, I had mined, grinded for XP to repair my pickaxe, and mined again, only to get a total of 38 iron? I thought that was pathetic, so I decided to dismantle my beacon and do it in the overworld. Maybe I'll get better results there. Once I had found a suitable place for me to put the project beacon in, I started mining out an area for it and putting the blocks down, building a hole and getting to work. My pickaxe was worn out, so I went to the Enderman farm to mend my pick and I started mining again. Make sure to subscribe for more mining content. Once again, my pickaxe had worn out, so I decided to go into my TARDIS to see how much I had mined this time. By the looks of it, I had obtained a lot more iron ore here than in InfDev, and when I put all my iron ores back in the chest, my assumptions were confirmed. After two mining sessions in the overworld, I now had a total of 739 iron ore out of 2196. Still a long way to go, but clearly the overworld was much more rich in iron. So once again, I mended my pickaxe and got back to mining, mended my pickaxe again, then went back to Salzburg because I wanted to smell all my iron ore, just because I thought it would be more appealing to look at and see my progress. Ah yes, look how many iron ingots I've got in my inventory, stacks upon stacks of it. Oh, that was so much iron I just smelted, surely I've done it. I can move on to- <laughs> And then I realized, hang on. I have a ton of spare iron blocks I made in case my project beacon was griefed. I don't need all of those iron blocks. I could speed up the process a little bit. 
So I took them out and put them in my shulker box. Then I halved the 52 blocks of iron because I realized I wasn't comfortable not having at least some spare blocks. But still, this meant that now I had a total of 1,386 iron ore out of 2,196 iron ore. We're getting there. I'm getting way less iron now every single time I go here and I strip a bunch out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up my beacon, pick up all this take it somewhere else and strip mine in a new area because I think I might get better results. So I decided to dismantle the beacon and go somewhere else again. I found a ravine so I placed my beacon blah 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 and I started mining. Once again I had worn my pickaxe so I decided to smelt all of this iron ore back at Salzburg. That mining session gave me... 1,656 iron ingots out of 2,196. We're moving up in the world. Boom, we're back. Thought I'd save you the trouble. I now have 1,872 iron out of 2,196. I'll grind out the rest of the iron tomorrow. The next day, I mined for a bit, and I got this much. 2,034 iron. And the day after that, I mined a bit more, and I actually overshot. It's fine, more iron for me, I guess. So, that part of the process is done. Step one is complete. Now for step two. With the skeleton skulls are also a necessary part of this beacon making process. I explained this earlier, but we essentially need four beacons. The fifth one was given to me a while back, and the sixth one will be the one that is currently in Salzburg. For every beacon, you need three wither skeleton skulls to spawn the wither. We need four more beacons, and three wither skeleton skulls four times over equals twelve wither skeleton skulls, minus the one I already have, so eleven. I knew just the place to start getting some wither skulls. I had discovered at some point that if I go to the same coordinates that I have on my Salzburg data module, but in the nether dimension, I end up right next to a nether fortress. Using this knowledge, I set those coordinates, and I started hunting down some wither skeletons. Within roughly 12 minutes I managed to acquire my first wither skeleton skull, meaning I only needed 10 more, and after another 11 minutes I managed to find another, so I needed 9 more. Eventually, Edible Forkles, a resident of Salzburg, joined the server and offered to help. Using his help, the last wither skeleton skulls were very easy to obtain, so I appreciate the help, Edible Forkles. We then went back to Salzburg, and Edible Forkles gave me the skulls, and I summoned the wither inside of the wither killing chamber which made killing the wither much easier since mob griefing is turned off on the DMU server. After that, I asked Edible Forkles to give me some glass to craft the beacon. At last, I had finally crafted five beacons. The sixth one was in Salzburg. Now all that was left to do was to construct this new beacon and to plan a design for the central hub that is compatible with a six effect beacon. The central hub of Salzburg was built by a member of the Salzburg Council. It uses a mixture of various blackstone walls, stained glasses, and diorite. The general design of the central hub I wanted to keep, I just wanted it to be compatible, so I tried to preserve the general shape of the central hub as much as possible. After various screenshots of the current central structure, building the original in my creative test world based off those screenshots and making a new version that was compatible with a six effect beacon, I came up with the following. So this is a recreation of the current central structure in Salzburg that surrounds the beacon beam, but without all the streaming water on the outside. And this is what I have just built, a version that supports a full six effect beacon. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's a little bit chubby up at the top and it kind of looks like a duck, but at least, at least it has the same diorite and blackstone materials. I may end up changing the stained glass, but now we have to get all the materials needed to make this central hub in the DMU server. I knew all the materials I needed to make this new central hub. I didn't need much more than what the central hub was already made out of. Like I said, I wanted to preserve the design, and part of that process is keeping its size the same. I started by removing the blocks and removing all the flowing water, dumping it into a 2x2 infinite water source. Now I'm going to let you in on a secret, however many of you are watching. The Salzburg Beacon was designed the way it was out of paranoia. <laughs> the first Salzburg that ever existed had a beacon that got griefed twice within roughly the first 50 days of Salzburg being founded. So I came up with a plan when Salzburg 1.16 was founded. 
I put the Beacon Pyramid underground and dumped it in lava. Yeah, that's right, lava. L-A-V-A. Why did I do this? I have no idea. The staff have block logs. As soon as I report a grief to them, whoever did it gets banned. But I guess at least the beacon isn't in plain sight anymore like it was in the first Salzburg. So in order to go down to the beacon pyramid and make it larger, I had to first make some fire res potions so that if I went into the lava, I wouldn't burn. These turned out to be pointless because my armor is so superior and powerful it would take multiple trips of getting a glass of water before I'd actually burn to death. I started picking up all the lava and once that was all cleared, off camera I got rid of the puny level 4 single effect beacon pyramid, then also off camera made the holes for the 6 beacon beams to see the sky from, and I mined out the 10 by 11 area needed to fit this new beacon pyramid. At this point I realized that I had actually gotten way too much iron, as at the time I forgot about all the iron that I had used for the old beacon. Yay, free iron for me! After realizing that, I started filling the layers of the pyramid all the way to the top. Now I have to say, at this point, when I started to put all those effects on each beacon, I had the biggest smirk on my face. It was literally the coolest thing I had ever done. Subscribe to Muffin Trademark for more cool stuff like this. I then filled up the entire chamber with lava. Now to actually construct the central hub. I thought it would be easier for you to just show you the end product. You probably don't want to watch any more footage of me building stuff. So here, jump cut! What the? How did I... How did I teleport up here and where's my armor gone? Oh, it's in my... What the... Anyway, here it is. The finished six effect beacon in Salzburg. It looks better here than it did in my creative world. We can see all the beautiful six effects up there in the top right corner. And all the pretty beams that come out of the beacons. They look so good. I wasn't sure what colors to put up there at the top, so I asked the Salzburg Council, and after some talks, they said I should put purple, red, and blue, which I think are all great colors, especially in combination. This project took ages, so please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel as it motivates me to more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you at some point in the future.